I get sad sometimes. Sometimes it's a little thing that I'll get over in a couple of weeks. Sometimes it's something that'll take a little bit longer to get past. Like the fact that I only have three more unwatched episodes of The West Wing left. I'm very sad about that. And sometimes I just inexplicably find myself stuck in a kind of sad that I can't get out of for months. Videos that try and tell you how to be happier in your own life are often really patronizing and I am not trying to be that with this. Think of this video as a hug. That's all I want it to be. When I feel like shit, I focus on the most meaningless things I can think of that make me even a little bit happier. The sound that cardboard makes when you run your finger over it. <laughs> I like to pick two random places on a map and then trace the route between them with my finger. I love the morning traffic reports on NPR. It's consistent and melodic and it can calm me down no matter where I am in my own head. For WHYY, I'm John Butterworth. I love looking at sailboats, especially the really big ones with all of the complicated looking wooden rods and ropes hanging all over the place. I don't know anything about them, but I like them a lot. When it gets cold around here, the farmers put blankets on their horses so they don't get chilly. I have no idea why, but I get such a kick out of that. You know when you're in a large building with with a lot of other people and it starts to pour outside and you can hear the rain pounding on the roof. A lot of times these buildings have metal roofs so it sounds a lot louder than it actually is. There's always that one second right after that sound starts when everyone gets quiet and listens. Everyone in that building could be completely different from each other but in that one second everyone is thinking the same thing and everyone is in the same boat. It's a weird brief moment of community. I love sunsets too, not just the beauty of them, but the fact that that beauty is impossible to capture. You could take a million and one pictures of it and none of them would adequately capture the beauty and power that took your breath away. So even though there's probably a dozen Instagrams of that sunset, it really only exists for the people who are in front of it. None of those things that I talked about matter. None of them are deeply personal or meaningful. Yeah, when you're sad, people tell you to think about your friends and your family and how lucky you are to be alive. Yeah, they do make me really happy, but I have found that that when you're sad and alone and you can't get your head out of that funk, it's the inconsequential things that keep you grounded. I know that this isn't going to fix anything, but when you need it, it might help even just a little bit. Sometimes any little bit can help when you're in a scary place. So for the next week or so, as you're doing your thing, make a conscious effort to notice any of these stupid little things that lift your spirits. Write them down somewhere. You can leave them in a comment or make a video about it even. It's good to have these in the forefront of your consciousness because you never know when you're gonna really need them. Even when you don't need them, they're nice to have. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So remember that time back in September when I shaved my head and it was this huge deal and then I never talked about it again? So it's been six months. My hair has been uh, playing catch up a considerable amount. So I have.